Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Closed Rhinoplasty Surgery. I'm Dr. Susie. Today we will be performing rhinoplasty. It's what's commonly referred to as a nose job. In this cosmetic surgery, our patient is a young lady who's looking to change the shape of her nose. We'll perform a closed rhinoplasty procedure to reshape her nose into something she finds more appealing. Some surgeons will perform this surgery using a local anesthetic and sedation, which makes the patient numb and in a dreamlike state. I prefer to work with a patient under general anesthesia and completely asleep. What we're doing today is reshaping the bridge of the nose. Our patient feels it's too wide and doesn't like the hump on it. The thinning of the nose is called an infracture. I'll bet you can't guess what the widening of the nose is called. All right, I'll tell you. It's an outfracture. Some patients may also want the tip of the nose reshaped. That's called typoplasty. But as I was saying, this patient only wants an infracture and some reshaping, easily done. To begin this procedure, we need to open the nostrils as wide as possible. We do this with a retractor. Can you place the retractor in the patient's right nostril? Now with the nostril opened wide, we'll make an incision inside in a crescent moon shape. That will allow us to access the bones and cartilage that make up the nose structure. I've made the incision. Can you use the forceps to remove that portion of the nostril? Surgeons must be hypervigilant when doing this portion of the procedure as it can damage breathing and sense of smell. To reshape the nose, we're going to chip off the dorsal hump with a chisel tool called the osteotome. We place the osteotome at the base of the hump and then carefully tap on it with a small rubber mallet. This has to be done very gently and takes a careful touch. I'll position the osteotome and you tap the end with the hammer. Now that the hump is loosened, we need to pull the bone and cartilage out of the nose. Use the tweezer-like forceps to slip it out of the incision. Now that the bump is out of there, we need to smooth the edges on both sides with a rasp. The space left by the bone we've removed is referred to as an open roof. To close the open roof, Carefully tap the osteotome along the path that I've marked. This breaks the nasal bones so we can reposition them. Tap the osteotome once each time I reposition it on the left and right nostrils. Now that the bones are broken, I just take my fingers and reposition them to close the open roof. Because we made such perfect breaks, the bones slip right into place and the nose is perfect. A few stitches to close up the incisions, and then we place nasal airway splints in each nostril to hold things in place. Stara strips go across the nose, and an external nasal splint is added to hold everything tight. Our patient will have some bruising and minor pain for a few days. We'll remove the splints in about a week. Most of the swelling will be gone by then, but there can be a bit left for a few months. And there we have it. Thanks for coming by. Catch more of my great surgeries here at SurgerySquad.com.